So hello everyone this is Akshay here and today we are going to see the question of the linked list remove duplicate from an unsorted linked list so before proceeding ahead if you are new to this channel please like share and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the regular updates of the channel okay so let us resume now so i have written three test cases here so let's say the first test case is 2 triple 2 4 and 5 so once if you encounter any duplicates of the element considered so far then you need to delete it jaise yahan pe 2, 2, 4, 4, 5, right? So we have already encountered 2. So if any other inst further instances of 2 occurred in the right hand side, you need to delete it. And that is why these 2 are deleted and 2, 4, 5 is the answer. Similarly, 5, 2, 2, and 4. So you just need to consider the first instance. If, un if any other instances are present or let's say the duplicates are present, then you need to remove it. So that is why the output is 5, 2, 4, and for 4 times 2, it would be just 1 time 2, right? How we can do this? How we can do this? So we need to find we need to check if the duplicate is present for a particular integer or not so what is the best data to just check in o of one definitely it is a hash set right if we have a use case of st uh, storing in a key value player pair then definitely we would have used map but here that is not required we just need to check if it is already present or not so we will leverage this data structure that is a hash set of an integer type and we'll keep on moving ahead in this linked list so let us do a quick dry run for this first example so what is triple two four and five correct so let us store the head node as the current node and we will use a while loop we'll go till last that is while current not equals to null correct so if the node is encountered just once then we will push it in the hash sheet else we will delete that pointer how we can do that though uh, there is one also prerequisite thing that you know how to delete a node in a particular linked list. So let's say you have a node A, B, C and D, right? A is connected to B, B to C, C to D and you need to delete C, right? <clears throat> so how we can do that? So let's suppose that you have a reference of this B node and this D node. Then definitely I can just say that B not next is equals to D and this C will be automatically get deleted. That it will be D reference from this location. So if I have node to delete karna hai, राइट right? तो हमें हमें उसके जस्ट प्रीवियस वाले पॉइंट प्रीवियस वाले पॉइंटर को या पे हमें चाहिए उसका रेफरेंस और उस जिसको डिलीट करना है उसके जस्ट नेक्स्ट वाले को भी चाहिए राइट right? तो लेट्स से ये करंट है और ये प्रीवियस है राइट तो वी कैन डेफिनेटली से दैट प्रीवियस डॉट नेक्स्ट इज नथिंग बट करंट डॉट नेक्स्ट एंड दैट विल बी डिलीटेड दिस सी विल बी डिलीटेड फ्रॉम हियर ग्रेट आई होप कोई बात समझ में आ गई है so okay, now we will check here if it is if the element is not present in the hash set then we just need to just push it so there will be two if here so let's say we name a hash set as hs and i will just check in java you can just write if hash set dot contains the current so we will use a mon one more variable that is val and we will store this in data so val is nothing but current dot data and if hash set contains this particular value then we need to perform the deletion right else we need to just move ahead we need to just hamara uh, jo previous pointer hoga which will be initially pointing to null hame bas it track karte jana jab bhi current hoga to uske just previous ko hame uh, just previous node ko hame store rakhna apne previous mein why you already know that it is help it will help us to delete that particular current node so i will just say in else part that the first thing is that you need to add that value in the hash set and second thing is that you you mark previous as current right and once this is done for all the tests for all the iterations you need to move ahead that is current is equals to nothing but current dot next don't mind my handwriting just go with the flow and you will eventually understand so what if if it is contains so if if contains how we can do so this is current so this will be the first value so at this point of time let us say this is the hash rate it will contain a value 2 then again the current will move ahead and this 2 will known as the previous then again, this will compare that this 2 is present in the hash set. Yes, definitely the value 2 is present. So what I will do that I will just point previous dot next equals to current dot next. Right. And then current is equals to current dot next. So current will be then come here. Then I will again say this 2 is already present in the hash set. So I will do again previous dot next equals to current dot next. Right. And this node will be again dereferenced from here. And then current is equals to current dot next. It will move from here. Now this 4 is not present. So add it add it in the hash set and just move ahead so 5 is also not there so move ahead and now the current will pointing to null 
and that is what the final list you have you have two four and five great so you just need to mention this line here and you are good to go please pause this video and try to dry run for some more test cases if you want and try to code this pseudo code in your pseudo uh, code editor and then we'll move ahead Okay, so that's the Java code. I don't think a code walkthrough is required here. We have a hash shed, a current pointer just to iterate in a given particular link list. We have a previous pointer that is pointing to null initially. And as soon as we are moving the current pointer one at a time in the right hand direction, we need to keep the track of the previous node in this previous pointer. We have already discussed if, it's, if it is present in the hash shed, we just have to delete that current node. And if it is not present in the hash shed, you need to add that particular va node value in the hash shed and keep on moving ahead. Current and previous to one at a time at the right hand side and at last you just have to return the head that is the head of the link list and the printing thing will be hap uh, will be handled by the inbuilt code so that is it let us compile and run while it is compiling what is the time complexity of this code we are using a while loop to iterate for each and every node in a link list so definitely is o of n time complexity what about the space complexity we are using a hash shed to store the elements to store the node value in the set so in the worst case we will be storing each and every node value uh, let, let us assume that there were no duplicate elements so in the worst case we will be storing each and every node value in the hash set so again space complexity was also b o of n let us hit the submit button so if it is n then definitely n should the constraint should be less than 10 power 8 yes otherwise if it would have been 10, greater than 10 power 8 then this code would have given us the tle even if our code and approach is right Okay, so let's see the C++ code and then we'll end this video. Great, so here goes the C++ code again. We made a set, we need a current pointer, previous pointer. There is a while loop to iterate in each and every node of the linked list. We are just checking if the value is present in the hash set. You delete the current, uh, you, you change the pointers, delete the current pointer and then move the current to previous dot next. So, aap maybe you are thinking previous queue likha. So, you can write current equals to current dot next bhi likh sakte. But in some cases, you may get an ambi ambiguity because you are deleting the current pointer, right? So, if that space agar kisi ne rewrite kar diya, agar is program ko zarurat padi let's say wo space rewrite ho gaya, then that current equals to current dot next will give you an error, right? So that is why we are handling it and going with the pointer which actually exists in the memory that is previous dot next. So that's it. Let us hit the submit button for this as well. Great, this question has been solved successfully. So let us meet again in the next video of our English playlist. Till then, keep learning, keep going. Bye bye, and take care, guys.